What is up my Autodesk community? It's the Revit Guru, AKA Revit Ryan here with some more tips and tricks on your everyday uses in Revit. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to insert a Revit link. Really simple, really easy. I'm gonna be doing some more tutorials on how to clean up a background. But for this one, I'm just gonna be showing you how to insert a simple background, architectural link and structural link. Again, I'll be making more tutorials and the overall goal is to make some simple tutorials so you can make a playlist on how to set up an overall project. So do me a favor, hit the bell, hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what else I can help you out with. So here you go, how to insert a background link in Revit. Okay guys, what I got here is a brand new project and you'll notice um, in a brand new project, sometimes there's some mechanical or plumbing floor plan views or a 3D view, some elevation views, that's okay. I personally like to come to a 3D view before inserting a link. And there are two ways we can go about inserting a link. Um, first, we can come up to the Manage tab. We can hit Manage Links right here. And it's going to pop up this big menu, which is the Manage Links menu. Or what I personally like to do is just come down to the bottom of your project browser on the Revit links. Right click and either hit New Link or Manage Link. And it's going to bring up that same menu. Okay, and what we want to do is real simple here. I'm going to come down to the right corner and we're going to hit add. Okay. And now before inserting links, I do recommend cleaning them up a bit. If you can, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to clean background links up. But for this one, I've already cleaned some up and I have them located here on my desktop. So there are a couple ways the backgrounds can be set up. There's uh down here at the bottom, there's positioning and before inserting it, it's important that we choose the right positioning and depending on how the background is set up it's important to check but most backgrounds i work on are origin to origin but it is important to check some could be shared coordinates or center to center but this one is origin to origin so i'm going to go ahead and insert my background my architectural link here give it a few seconds to load up and this loading process will speed up if your background is clean if it's there's a bunch of views and stuff in there it could take a long time now, what's important to check um, when this is inserted is the reference type. Sometimes you may insert it and it be, may be checked as attachment, and that's okay. We can just change it to overlay, simple right there. But if, it pop, if you do insert it and it doesn't populate and you don't see it, make sure you check that um, overlay there. It may be set to attachment. So as you can see here, simple as that, guys, our, our uh, link has been inserted here. It's okay that our floor plans are off um, from the background. I'm, I will show you how to set up floor plans from the Revit links background, but I'm just trying to keep these videos pretty quick. So what we did real quick, we're gonna insert a structural link now, just to recap, we're just gonna come down here, right click, go to manage links, we're gonna add, there's my structural link. Make sure I check that positioning type down there. Okay, we're gonna open. And that was see how quick that one loaded. It's because I like to clean my backgrounds up a little bit. And I check that reference type, hit OK. And see, did you see that real quick? Some other uh, levels, maybe some reference lines popped up there. And again, it's OK that it all looks a little bit off right now. I will show you how to um, set up floor plans correctly. But as you can see, the down here when I go to my Revit links on the project browser, there's some cool things we can do here. We can either unload for all users or we can unload for me. If your multiple people are working on a project, um, it, I would recommend just unloading for me because that's you don't want people to be freaking out if their project is unloaded and then all of a sudden they're like, what happened? But yeah, so as you can see, there's our structural link that we just inserted. And so we come back over to the project browser. You'll be able to simply right click on those links and unload them reload them you know you can kind of manage them where they're reloaded from if you wanted to change the background of a link and if we get an update it's real simple we can just right click down there and just hit simply hit reload we don't even have to unload or reload it and uh some some tips cool tips guys uh kind of help you out a little bit in the 3d view i like to hold control or shift to kind of like move around in the 3D view and hold your scroller. 
And what we can do here from the manage links uh, menu is we can remove the links here, we can reload the links here, just some, just some of those simple things that we can do as well as if we right click on the Revit links over there. And that's pretty much it guys. I will go through on how to set up floor plans from these backgrounds in my next tutorial. And again, the overall goal is to get you guys some simple, easy steps and tutorials to overall make a playlist on how to set up a full project. So thanks again, thanks again guys. I hope this helped out. So I hope that was helpful, my Autodesk community, how to insert a background link. Again, the overall goal is to get a couple tip videos so I can make a playlist for you guys on how to set up an overall project. So I will be dropping some more videos on how to set up floor plans, clean up backgrounds. I'm just gonna keep going. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, leave a comment. Let me know what I can help you out with. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you guys soon. It's the Revit Guru, AKA Revit Ryan, and I'll see you guys soon.